Here's 25 random things everyone has done in Red Dead Redemption 2. And by the way, if you haven't done any of these, then you're just an NPC. Starting with kidnapping the feminist in Saint Denis and feeding her to the alligators. Come on, don't lie in the comments claiming you haven't. Anytime you encounter a dog, you'll stop what you were doing and start petting it. Even if you're getting chased by the law, you'll still find a way. There's something wrong with you if you don't do this. Whenever Red Dead 2 players find a house, they'll have to open every single drawer and cabinet before they can leave. Literally, not one can be left unopened. When you were first playing the game, you probably went out of your way to find the KKK hiding in the woods, the Ku Klux Klan. and you most likely threw some dynamite in there. Going to saloons and getting absolutely wasted is a must, but you're not a real player if you don't start a huge bar fight with all the other NPCs in there. Every once in a while you feel like climbing the highest mountain in the game, and once you reach the top, you realize you're too lazy to go back down properly, so you just decide to fall off the mountain and die. If you ever saw a hanging that was about to happen, you decided to try and become a superhero, so you try shooting the rope in order to save the NPC. Anytime you hear this sound while walking in the woods, you definitely shit your pants. Walking into a hotel and pressing that the Luke's bath button is the closest thing we'll get to a strip club from GTA 5. And I bet all of you have done this at least once, or even more, you goddamn perverts. Doing rooftop parkour is a thing all the experienced players have done, and it usually ends up with you face planting onto the ground. Whenever your hat falls off, you have to pick it up, no matter what, because that hat always gets back on your head somehow. It's just one of those few things that you have to do. If you don't do this, then you're definitely a NPC. One cannot simply go past Van Horn without wiping the entire town, I won't leave until there isn't even one NPC alive. And just like with the dogs, whenever you see a cat, you stop what you were doing and start praising it. I mean, unless you're not a cat person. Which I'm not, by the way. I'm definitely not a cat person. We all know going down waterfalls is deadly. Whenever we come across one, we just have to go down. And you try this with horses and wagons as well. I know. Sometimes I feel like obeying the law and being a perfect citizen, so I blend in with the NPCs. But after about 30 seconds, I get way too bored of it, so I just decide to go on random rampages and shoot everyone inside. If you're running low on money, you'll hit up the local saloons and go play some poker with the boys, or even some blackjack. You might win a couple of rounds at first, but eventually you'll end up losing it all and shoot everyone at the table. Just like feeding NPCs to alligators, you've also thrown them on the train tracks and enjoyed the show. You've definitely tried out your risk game with the madams, you realize it's just as realistic in game as it is in real life. After you too. We don't want you nowhere near here. Shut it. Okay, hold up. The punching part wasn't realistic, but everything before that was. Getting on your horse is one of the basic and easiest things to do in Red Dead 2, but we still somehow end up getting kicked in the face way too often by our horses. And you've definitely bullied a bunch of kids in Saint Denis. I know you have. You tried to punch them just to realize you can't, so you decided to throw some dynamite at them. You goddamn savages, how could you? Whenever I walk downtown, I usually greet every NPC who comes my way, and I mean literally every NPC. But on the other hand, I also enjoy antagonizing everyone, and that usually usually ends up in a feast fight in the end. Sometimes you'll go on trains and just decide to sit there enjoying the views like an NPC for hours on the end. You've most likely tried seeing how far you can go into New Austin before the invisible sniper kills you, and you've realized it doesn't take that long. If you kill a lot of people, just like the houses, you have to loot every single body and not leave even one unlooted. Even though you already know, you're most likely getting just a couple of pennies of them, as per usual. When you're close to being arrested by a lawman, you decide to draw your gun out at the very last second and shoot them in the head. But within a couple of minutes, you'll either end up in a body bag or wake up in a jail cell. Most players obsessively clean their horse so they brush and brush till their hands are numb and that horse is squeaky clean. And related to that, keeping your gun clean is an important task to take care of as well, which you might find yourself spending a lot of time on. I sometimes take out animals like horses, dogs, and cats, and after you do it, you feel like the worst person ever to play the game. Running into NPCs and knocking them over is a thing you might find yourself doing when you're bored, but to be fair, it's pretty fun, especially when you throw them in the water. If you're on a horse and riding near a big cliff, you can't resist jumping off and crashing on purpose. Just how I like harassing other NPCs by crashing into them while going 50 miles an hour on a wagon, which is just way too fun. And speaking of fun, click this video right here to watch me bust 200 mids in Red Dead Redemption 2 and subscribe.